So I thought I'd do a short little video on one of these little power resistors. Now this is one I got from AliExpress. It was cheap. Now when I was actually installing this thing I made a mistake and I accidentally blew it up. So this one's blown. So I thought I'd actually open it up and have a look and see what's inside it. Now you can see on the ends here it's actually got this like filling around there. And I thought okay maybe it's like completely filled so it's got a nice thermal transfer between the internal resistor and the external aluminium case. So it's got good thermal properties stuff like that so you can get the heat away from the resistive element. This particular one's a 100 watt 0.2 ohm resistor, apparently. I actually opened this up already and had a look and I was quite surprised, I suppose. Basically what I did is I cut the end off this, because it's like a flattened terminal. I cut this end off and I basically pulled the thing out. So we'll give it a pull. Maybe not like that. We'll give it a pull like this. And it should pop back out, there we go. This time it's disintegrated. And that is basically it. You've got this like this sand in there. So what I found when I actually pulled the thing apart is basically full of sand. <laughs> it had sand in it. So I guess that is actually what they're using for the thermal properties. But uh, that's what's inside an AliExpress resistor. And you can see here where it failed, right there. So basically what was happening is when I was hooking this thing up, I had the thing live. I was using live power at the time. Um, so low voltage, 24 volt sort of stuff, but I accidentally shorted across this and popped it. So I made a mistake and blew it, that's why I failed. So I actually had two units of these which I picked up in a mailbag oh, probably a month or two ago now, probably a couple of months ago now. And I just replaced it with the other one and installed it as I meant to install it without blowing it up. And it's been working fine, so far at least. But yeah, I thought it'd be an interesting look inside one of these and actually see what's inside them. because. It's basically full of like what looks like sand <laughs> and of a, a wire around a resistor, former ceramic former. I really expected more than that. I thought it was going to be like epoxied in all the way down, so it's got thermal properties. But at least on these ones, it's not. Maybe someone's got some uh, proper ones from like I don't know, electronic supply or something, some electrical suppliers, maybe RS or something like that. No, Arrow, RS, DigiKey, one of those places which have these which may be different. Maybe this is a rubbish construction, which is why they're cheap. I don't know. I don't actually have any proper ones from a trusted distributor, I suppose you could say. They may be different, they may be the same. Anyway, hope you found it interesting. Check out the other videos. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye.